Okay, possibly, possibly I overreacted. This might not be a huge problem. Right? Oh. Uh -huh. I know. It might not be a problem at all. I mean, if we can handle hanging around with your birth mother, then I guess we can handle her becoming Aunt Chelsea. Right? Ready. Nanny just got here. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry I had to take away your favorite babysitter. No, that's okay. You did the smart thing sending Summer to that camp. You know, she is just going to love being a camp counselor. And it's really far away from all the coverage of Daniel's arrest, so she won't have to see the stress he's under. It's hard for her. I can't imagine that it's easy for you and Phyllis either. It's pretty much consumed her entire life. Yeah. Well, that sounds like Phyllis. You know, the one thing I can say for her, she is fiercely protective when it comes to her kids, which I totally get. You know, there's been this sense of dread since the day Daniel married Daisy. At the time, I swear to you, I could actually hear Phyllis's mind racing, imagining all the ways that Daisy was going to mess with Daniel. Yeah, and all the things that she would do to try to prevent them from happening. Well, she never imagined this, Daisy vanishing. The police thinking that Daniel had something to do with it, like he would ever harm the mother of his kid in any way. But the police still think he did it, even though Paul told them that Ricky confessed to him oh, that he got rid of her. Ricky confessed? Yeah, but he can't prove it. If Daniel would have just listened to his mother and steered clear of Daisy, he wouldn't be the prime suspect in this case right now. I know, but if you think about it, Daniel didn't really have a choice. I mean, he was protecting Lucy. He had to marry Daisy. I mean, he had to try to give her a normal life. Can you imagine if he left her alone with Daisy? <sighs> yeah, disaster waiting to happen. I'm so proud of Daniel for standing up for Lucy. I mean, she's so lucky to have him in her life, and especially since Billy and I couldn't be there. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little bit emotional at the moment. I know. It must be hard for you with Billy being in L.A. so long. I know how much you must miss him. Miss him like crazy. But that's not why. It's Chelsea. Um, she's engaged to Adam. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess those two deserve each other. Why would you be worried about... I mean, you don't think... No. She's going to come after Johnny again, do you? In fact, she insisted that she had every intention of sticking to our agreement. But you don't believe her? Well, Nick, why would Chelsea marry Adam? I mean, is it for love? Is she even capable of that? We know that Adam isn't. Well, it's not, you know, grown-up, real, emotional love, that's for sure. Okay, so then maybe she did it for the money. That's a possibility. Although, Chelsea could have done a lot better than Adam financially. That's true. Okay, so she's not in it for love or for money. Then maybe it's because Adam plays dirtier than she does. And he wants to stick it to our family. By helping her get Johnny back. We can't rule it out. <sighs> All right, look. There could be any number of reasons why those two decided to make it legal, and none of which have anything to do with Johnny. So, Vic, don't make yourself sick worrying about something that may never happen. I know, okay? I know. And I'm trying not to let my mind go there. But after losing custody of Reed to JT, and what happened with Lucy? I'm sorry, okay? I just, I... <sighs> Enough. Let's just focus on somebody else's problem. Let's go see Abby. Ah, uh, yes, the one member of our family who is so bored with the lack of drama in her life, she decided to invent something. Yes. Oh, hi. Abby. Oh, 
Do you know how crazy you make me? Hey, I know. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, I wish I could believe that, Abby. I don't think you're really ever going to be sorry until the day comes when you truly need help and nobody shows up. About time. <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 Daddy told me. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Hey, mommy's Christmas. <laughs>